Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Barroso says member countries must give up sovereign control. China and Asia dump the euro as confidence in EU markets fades. UK ministers ignore public concerns and press EU for genetically modified frankencrops. British farmers getting stiffed as EU farms flout commission rules. Plus, almost 4,000 foreign criminals living freely in Britain today. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, headlining from our homepage, Barroso has pledged to put his foot on the gas in integrating the European Union members into a federal superstate. In this article, Barroso repeats his calls for a central power grab several times using spin-doctored press speak such as shifting powers, restoring real decision-making power, cohesion and solidarity. This article is sharp and pointed and demonstrates the drive and desire of our Brussels masterclass to centralise power and control. Europe's dreams of toppling the US dollar as a world reserve currency has been left shattered by Asian bondholders. This article sets out the details as the euro bond markets begin to collapse and major currency holders such as China, Russia and Middle Eastern petrol powers shift their reserve currency strategy. UK ministers are backing GM Frankencrops and pressing the EU Commission to grant legal approval for UK farmers to be able to grow them. The article originates from a largely positive press release from Euroactive Online. Whilst touching on generic concerns, it largely promotes the positives of GM crops. As ever, of course, our legislative research team will identify any directives or proposals in regard to genetically manipulated products. UK pig farmers are furious at flagrant ignorance by their European counterparts on sow stall bans. Apparently, whilst UK farmers have almost universally implemented the removal of pig sow stalls, dramatically increasing their production costs, the majority of farmers in France and Germany have ignored the legislative deadline. 60% of meat sold in Britain is imported and that figure is set to grow as UK pig farmers get squeezed out due to commercial disadvantage. The full article is in our legislation section. The links are below. Thousands of foreign murderers, rapists and other criminals are living freely in Britain and cannot be deported due to human rights laws, it's been revealed. Priti Patel, the Tory MP who asked the parliamentary question on the subject, suggested that the Human Rights Act be scrapped. Ms Patel goes on to bash Labour over its immigration controls, which is a shame, as she had the perfect opportunity to target our neurotic Europarliamentary baboons from where the human rights and immigration controls are mandated. Today in our video library, we have a Greenpeace investigation into massive government-backed corruption and illegal practice by the Spanish fishing fleet. Search our archives for common fisheries policy or read about its rushed implementation in our 1972 et al section to find out how Spain has consistently used EU money to destroy national fisheries, including the British fishing industry. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit, And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team on Google Plus at any time. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.